Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you upcoming projects for Thanksgiving and Christmas. My Thanksgiving or fall project videos will start being released in August and my Christmas ones will start being released in September. Many I have already filmed and then I also have other projects waiting over here in the wings, ready to be cut out. They've been designed. I just have to cut the fabric out and get them together. So let's take a sneak peek of what you're going to be seeing. Here is a trick-or-treat bag. You can make them for big kids all the way down to little baby size. This is for my grandson. Isn't this cute? And what's nice about these bags is in the video, I show you how to use an embroidery machine to stitch out whatever you want to say up here at the top. If you don't have an embroidery machine, that's okay. You can still buy your Halloween fabric and make this trick-or-treat bag. So I want to encourage you to start going into the fabric stores and looking at your fabrics. The sales aren't real good on them. When I was in last week, the Halloween fabric was only about 20% off, but in about another month, you're going to see it 40% off. So look for those Joanne coupons, because this is where I bought the fabric, so that you are ready for when all of the good fabrics start hitting the store. Christmas fabric is coming in just a little bit, a little bit of fall fabric is in. So let's take a look at some of the other videos that you haven't seen yet that will be coming out. So here is a little sneak peek of a video that is a really basic basket liner. So this is using some Christmas fabric with a red basket. And then also I show you how to make a different shape. This is a rectangle. This is a really tall basket. Really, really easy. Probably a fat quarter would do you on most of the smaller baskets. Now let's take a sneak peek at some of the other tutorials. Here are some placemat tutorials that will be coming out. The fall project videos will start coming out in August and the Christmas ones will start coming out in September. We've already done a lot of filming and there's a lot of things waiting in the wings waiting to be filmed. So if you're a beginner, I have a really basic placemat, napkin ring, and uh, a napkin so you can coordinate everything. Very little sewing skills. You can be a raw beginner and be able to do this one. This is also a beginner's project. A little bit more uh, sewing involved, but it's also very, very easy. So let's take a sneak peek at some of the others. Have you ever wondered how they folded these little Christmas tree napkins? Well, I've had uh, so many different methods shown to me on how to fold these patterns with lines drawn on them. It was so complicated. So I've come up with a method that is so easy to fold these. You don't need to draw any lines or anything like that. This is really quick and aren't these pretty. So you could make coordinating placemats, whatever you want, uh, bowl covers, all kinds of things, table runners all coordinated together. Let's take it another sneak peek. There is a lot involved in having a sewing channel and that you have to have a lot of pre-planning, things ready to go because my cameraman, you know, they cost money, although he's my son-in-law so he's really easy to work with, but still you have to be prepared because nothing irritates a cameraman more than me not being prepared. So I have these little project baskets and in there I know what I need to work on. And I'll make little sketches of what I'm going to make. So this is a fall or going to be a fall table topper. It's going to be really pretty. And I've already selected my fabrics. I've got measurements written down. Everything's ready to go. I just need to get it all cut out and ready to be filmed. I'm also going to be using this panel fabric right here for a quilt as you go. And so you can start looking for your panel fabric. It's got 
pre-printed squares on them, you cut the squares out, get your cotton batting and your fabric for the back, and quilt as you go is another great way to get introduced to quilting. So these are two fall projects. Again, fall is coming out in August, starting to probably filter over into September. Now, also, the kind of fabrics I often like to use in table runners is home decor fabric. Granted, it's a lot of it's, you have to dry clean. I usually spot clean my table runners. I don't put food on them, but this is fabric I'm going to make a table runner into. It's gonna be really pretty. I bought this at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts, and this is their Home Essentials line of fabric. It is a more inexpensive type of uh, decorator fabric, and look for the sale. You might be able to get it 40, maybe even 50% off. And then for Christmas, this is just a, a mock-up of a placemat using panel fabric. So you see this nice border that comes along there? This is gonna be a really basic uh, placemat, but the fabric is so pretty. So you wanna start looking for your border prints. This is gonna be just gorgeous. And one other thing that I've gotten my pattern all drawn is a Christmas tree skirt. So this pattern is gonna be really, really easy to draw. So please don't get intimidated by this long, skinny, triangular shape. You're gonna need at least two different colors of fabric. I don't know how much fabric you're gonna need right now, but this is probably, not this piece, but this is probably the two fabrics that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use a light and a dark. One of the big reasons I wanted to show you what my upcoming projects are is that it's getting harder and harder to get the right sewing supplies that I need. And so I really wanted to make sure you understand that you really need to go out there, make a list of what you wanna make, look at your stores, can you get the supplies you need? Because it's getting harder and harder to get rickrack, bias tape, even some of my embroidery projects I've been working on. And by the way, I have an embroidery project that's coming up too. Not embroidery, cross stitch. That's gonna be so pretty. You're just gonna love it. Just getting the thread was really difficult. A lot of my supplies I buy at Walmart because it's just around the corner from where I live. I live in a very small town. It's the only store in town to get any kind of craft and sewing supplies and they were extremely low. They're also in the middle of rearranging their store, which is driving us all crazy. We're being patient, but stuff is just all over the place. The sewing stuff is all over the place, disorganized. And I noticed that their embroidery thread was extremely low. The rickrack, the bias tape, the fabric that I wanted, it's just not there. So get started now. That's my big, big concern for you. Get started, make your list, wait for those sales, sign up for the Joann's coupon app, especially if you have a Joann's near you. Remember, Joann's also has really good coupons if you wanna order from their website, where oftentimes they will offer free shipping or really low price on their shipping. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you like some of the things that you're gonna see. Remember, August, the fall ones will start being released, September, the Christmas ones. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to click on the bell. I'm Cheryl and this is a lot of manis. See you next time and happy sewing.